Welcome back to my channel. It's Domino Alexis. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, I don't um want to keep doing that intro thingy. But yeah, so in this video, I'll be teaching you how to highlight your wig. And you don't even got to do the most. So right now, I'm shampooing my lace real good to get that glue off with the Pantene shampoo. You see how much shampoo I'm using? Do not be walking around with no dirty weed. Okay, that's not what we do. That is not what we do. Okay, so scrub a dub dub boo, and I'll be right back. Wait, so this part is important. You see how I'm trying to get that glue off? That Erica J glue do not play. So I need you to get into that lace and scratch it just a little bit. You ain't got to scratch it real hard, but put some elbow grease in there and get that glue off that lace. We don't want to see white chunky glue on your hairline. It's supposed to be laid. I'm supposed to see skin and scalp, okay? Make sure you brushing it out while you washing it. We don't want to see no tangles either. Okay? It needs to be as laid as possible. Got it? Good. Okay, now you're going to take that wig and you're going to take a towel. And you gonna let it dry. If you care about air drying, go ahead and let it air dry. You see that water dripping off of that like that? That's for y'all that prefer that. But me, I think I went in and blue dried it. But whatever you prefer, just do it. And we are gonna move to the next step, okay? So listen, now we're using L'Oreal Quick Blue Extra Strength Bleach Powder. And we got the... 30 volume developer listen i don't really do much dying i'm trying to um i'm trying to get into it but this this let me know i can definitely eat up a wig for sure and y'all gonna see y'all gonna see but yeah it got like a little purple tint so make sure you be careful with the purple shirt shampoo y'all see how i got the purple shampoo and conditioner in the background right there be careful because this is already tinted purple so if you add purple on top of purple on top of purple what color is that gonna make purple so it's gonna cancel out that lightness that you were trying to achieve which you're gonna see in this video is where i went wrong because as much makeup as i do and as much color that i use i still don't know my colors <laughs> But yeah, pour in as much as you need to make the correct consistency that you want. You want it, you don't want it thick and crumbly. You don't want it like cookie dough. You want it like not loose. What can I compare this to? You want it just smooth, no clumps, not too thick, not like oatmeal, not like a bowl of grits. You want it to be smooth. And I got, I, per, I purposely bought a clear container so y'all can see the consistency is smooth and you literally just gonna keep blending it until you get what you want you can add more dirty volume developer or you can add more bleach powder so right here i ignore my tackiness y'all i'm just in the house chilling just working this wig and it's so soft if you want to purchase this wig i have my amazon storefront linked in the description box with all the wigs that i have personally used and reviewed and wore and dyed and did all type of stuff with tinted to lace bleached the not everything and i swear wear by these wigs i like them they're really good i love them they're really really good so if you are interested in any of these wigs go to my amazon storefront so yeah basically ignore the background i am also a makeup artist and me and my roommate was trying to do a flower wall but you know we finna move in a few so 
that that didn't go as planned but yeah so basically what i did i just took random pieces of hair random strands of hair with bleach on my gloved hands don't let me see you using bleach with your hands not being protected by the gloves okay so just take pieces of the hair and just bleach it that's it like you literally taking random pieces don't grab like clumps or little pieces from the same section be be unpredictable like literally go everywhere because you have that whole head to work with so just go everywhere and trust me the outcome is gonna be so freaking cute like when i show y'all at the end oh my goodness and in person it, it snapped way harder so yeah you do not have to be precise with this you don't have to be like oh if i don't do it this way it ain't no be random go everywhere go everywhere remember i said we moving that's why that box right there okay i don't need y'all coming for me in the comments <laughs> but yeah you see how it's like it's some at the top it's some in the middle it's some at the back like the very back at the bottom i even went to pieces that i did not touch and i specifically only got the ends you get what i'm saying like i literally say like this front this back piece right here it ain't have nothing on it i literally just touch the ends with the bleach like that's how random you need to be in i promise you it's gonna come out so cute it came out so cute Okay, so this is me showing y'all how to her look at the end. Like, it should just look like random tinted purple, light purple lavender looking like pieces. And you let it sit for like, I think I did 45 minutes. Mind you, I told y'all in the beginning, purple, 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 purple. So it does not look that light to me. So I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. And I dyed it again. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But guess what? The wig lasted and it did not shed. Like, y'all, when I tell y'all this hair is good, this hair is good. Trust me. <laughs> but yeah, so this was not the final last step in the next clip, which is finna pop up. Boom. I took a little bit more of the bleach and developer. And I went in on some more random strands. Like, I didn't even go over the same ones. Like, I went over kind of the same ones every once in a while. But I did new pieces, too. And, y'all, like, I like how this... I would definitely do this again, okay? But definitely learn your colors. So, if the, the bleach and the developer is already making a purple tint, do not wash it so much with purple on purple. So, what I mean is do only purple shampoo and another type of conditioner or only do the conditioner with another type of shampoo so that all of that 
like tinting of that purple won't cancel the color out but yeah so this is basically what i did this is the end and then y'all will see how it came out so let me know if you try it and let me know if you've made any mistakes on bleaching and dyeing your hair bye